Hey guys, and welcome back to Fix Drive Ride Fly. Right, I'm gonna carry on getting this uh, car emptied. Uh, get, get the Hoover on it. I'll get you a montage of me giving it a clean and the Hoover out. I don't think you want to see the, the the whole process. And then we're gonna get the angle grinder on those body bolts. I don't think there's any point in trying to undo them. As you saw, the chassis is rotten. There's no chance they're gonna come off. So I'm gonna get the grinder on it, get those bolts off, and then work out what else we need to do to, to get the body off. Now, hopefully in this episode, we will get that body off. Um, but first of all, I've got to move all that pile there. So I've got somewhere to put the body. That's uh, in front of a, one of my old aircraft. I bought two broken aircraft to uh, build a decent one and that is going to become a sidecar, but that'll be for another project. Um, so yeah, let's try and get the, the body off this. And don't forget guys, if you're enjoying what I'm doing, please do like and subscribe. The button should be uh, below there. Uh, hit the bell for notifications and whatnot and share the video. But also drop me some um, notes in the comments to let me know what sort of thing you want to see in these videos because that would uh, help me a lot. Um, thanks for the feedback I've had of a lot of you guys. Um, it's been pointed out to me that this is a 21E. And while I was digging through the boot, I did find this. So the rubbish. Look at that. They were in the boot. I also found the little 700 badge. But again, it's been pointed out to me that based on the engine number I showed you in the last video, that that is actually a 600cc engine. Um, either way, you know, I don't think that's ever going to run again. But once we've got the body off, we'll uh, we'll take a look. Now, what I'm expecting to happen when this body comes off is the chassis is going to go. So, so let's see. Right, and a crack on. I've hoarded all these to make a nice fireplace down my pub, um, which I might show you one day. Right, guys, that is the interior out. I'm going to get this all hoovered up now. And we can see where we are. There's that steering glove that is holding as an extra. That's quite nice. That looks in good condition. And I didn't notice until I watched my own video that there's the key. I'm going to keep that there for now. Right, let's get on and get this hoovered. Uh, see if I can place you guys somewhere to watch.
And there we are, guys, all hoovered out. So whenever you're telling when you're working on a three-wheeler, they say, oh, it's great, it's easy to get the body off. It's only three, uh, eight bolts. Uh, well, it's not eight bolts. I've undone all the eight bolts on the body and this thing is still on rock solid. Now, I knew I had to get the steering wheel off, uh, but it's actually four anchor points for the um, rear seat belts, I think they're called. All the seat uh, anchor points. Um, and there's also another two anchor points each side up the front on the, on the chassis, so there's a lot more work. Now, one of the things I was worried about was getting this steering wheel off, because I wasn't sure how to do it. My suspicion is you've got to pop this off and there's a bolt underneath it. So I've done a bit of digging and there's a cracking channel called um, Rest or Repair, and he gets one of these with the van version and turns it into a trotter's van. So I've been watching him, and that's why I found out where all these extra bolts were. Uh, so I watched him take this off. So now I'm going to do the same thing. And fingers crossed, I don't break this. Oh, that sucks. It feels like it should come off. Right, I'm gonna get some penetrating fluid down there and come back to it. Right, we're on to getting this nut off now. Now, don't forget, when you're taking the steering wheel off, never take the nut off all the way, because you are gonna have to give this a good old tug to get it off, and you don't wanna hit yourself in the face when you're gonna pull the steering wheel off. Uh, I've got nothing holding on to this, this is going to be awkward. Uh, let's do a try it there. Ooh. Lift you guys back up. I like them then, and then quite well. This is where you can accidentally punch yourself in the face. Should have gloves on, really. Soak through it. Oh, look at that. The steering wheel is actually broken there. So I'm going to have to get a replacement steering wheel. This is going to become wall art. We are, she's popped. I didn't spot that earlier. Look, it's it's gone there. So yeah, new steering wheel really needed. Right, just got to get the other end of this um, off. I got to take the steering box off, and that should pull out once I've removed this bung here. So 
this is our steering box. These nuts are rotten as hell. So I'm probably going to have to cut them off, but we'll give this a whirl first. I'm right, giving these a liberal dose in. Looks like a 916 fit. So wish me luck. Oh my god. I'm going to nearly slicing my arm off on the body work. Right. Oh, the bottom one is turning there as well. So let's find another 916th and get that on there. Right. I've managed to get that steering box. All the mud and crud on there. I've managed to get the steering box loose. So now what I'm going to do is split it here or here. Here looks like my best bet. Get this banged off. There's no chance of these coming undone. Um, and then I should be able to just draw the steering wheel, uh, steering wheel out, uh, steering um, column actually. Cool. Can you believe it? I tried my luck on this, and look at that. I never thought that would come and done. Not in a heartbeat. Right, we gave that a whack. That's come off, tucked him out of the way. That's now all loose. So if I look on the top, there's probably a bracket we've got to get from there. And then that's coming out. Right, so to get this free, there was a bracket at the top, which I couldn't get a socket to fit. I think the nuts are swollen, so I had to get um, a cutting disc and cut the screws from under the dashboard. And now that's loose. There we go. This is our steering column. Oh. Out of the car. Oh, no. oh. Well, we might get that cleaned up and have a look at it, but I think this is yet another thing that's not saveable on this car. Right. So that's our steering wheel and steering column out. With a bit of luck, we'll be able to refurb that, but I'm not so sure. Now, the other thing I've got to do is I've got to get these mounting points out, and these ones here, and these two here. Now, they are shot, so the only way I'm going to get those out is with the angle grinder. Then I've got to try and loosen this off so I can get at the uh, handbrake cable to snip that. Um, I might just see if I can snip that from underneath. And then the last thing to do out here is remove that and see if I can get at the last four bolts uh, and then this body's ready to come off. So these appear to screw in from the front, so I'm going to try and cut the seatbelt off. I have to do that with a grinder. I can't move the scissors, I've tried.
right, just these back ones there. Next thing to do is get these two screws out on this side, one that side. And then this old thing right there. Oh, that is only way to do it on this side. You can see over there as well. All the body's damaged over there. Getting these ones out is going to be fun. Right, we have to cut through this old loom. Cut that bolt off. Get this pipe out of here. This pipe out of here. And then this will come out. Right, cut through that. It's out. It's the heater box, look at that. And there's the plate we got some of remove. It's my neighbour's cat. Practically our cat about the times is over here. Come to check out the work and just steal a snack. Say look cat. <laughs> you got no cats. So this is the last bolt that's stuck. Where is he? There he is. That's it, that's what's stopping us getting the body off. I think we'll get the grinder on it. So up there is the only way I can get to it with the grinder. And uh, look through the headlight. See what I can do. I think it's off. Right then, let's see if this thing comes off. Right. Let's see if you can lift it off. Right, you can't grab it there, right, because uh, it'll jab your fingers. So you need to do it in the corner over here. We could do it with two more people, but we're on lockdown, so we can't get everyone over to help us, so it's going to be a struggle, but we get it off. 
right. So if you lift it as high as you can. Right, <laughs> we get it done. Don't pull it, it's just a rest of the tongue. I was letting it lay down. You can do the same up the other end. Okay. Cool, we are getting somewhere. Um, right in Sars. Yes. Do you want to try and lift the back and I'll carry it over and try and look at it? Stay back, darling. Back inside. I'll come give you a cuddle in a second, darling. Not on the board, Sam. So what am I doing? Just lifting? Uh, yeah, we're just going to try and take it backwards. Uh, as is typical with all these things, as we was getting it off, the battery on my phone died. Um, what we did is we put some wooden doors under it, which uh, I think we caught, um, and we just lifted and slid it and pivoted it, and we've got it into this position. So I've now put a bread cage under there to give it some wheels, and I'm going to try and slide it off. Thank you. 
Rather than a 600, we got a, a one man power. a lot of crunching of fiberglass it's because this has been in the front end at some point the front corners have already been repaired and the whole of the inside around the nose is cracked quite badly um, so it's going to take a fair bit of fiberglass repairs so we haven't actually made anything worse with manhandling it the way we have so I think that's it for this episode guys thank you very much gives a good couple of likes for my wife there there's not many uh, not many wives that would help with such a thing um but needs must and uh she's always up for a challenge bless her uh has to be married to me <laughs> right next episode we'll get this cleaned up and we'll start fixing the fiberglass um oh actually before we go i think you guys will probably want to see the chassis come take a look let's get up there and there she is, look at the state of this bad boy. It is absolutely shot. I don't even think that uh, that axle is any good. You know, it's, it's mullered to say the least, look at this. This had come up through the floor. Ah, oh, there's a bow in here. The engine has dropped out of its mounts, look at some point and it's collapsed. What a mess. But I knew this when I was buying it. I bought it for the shell. I absolutely knew the chassis was rotten. But you can see there where the, you know, that's just not even connected. Look at that. I wonder if that would work. Let me go get a battery. So one last thing, I normally blur out my number plates, but I've left this one in on purpose to see if anyone notices something about the, the number plate. Now, one person has commented, it says, uh, good number plate for the times. So uh, take a look, guys. CVD, five plus seven plus seven, 19. How spooky is that? Stay safe, guys. Yeah, something to pretty to look at when we're doing the dishes.